Hey guys, Andrew with AMT Tactical. Now that the lawn has been aerated, we are going to talk about step three of the fall overseeding process, which is top dressing and leveling. So first, what is leveling? Leveling is the process of creating an overall smooth lawn surface. Leveling a lawn not only helps with making the lawn more enjoyable to be on, but it will also help with the overall appearance of the lawn. Leveling will help reduce the risk of people getting injured on the lawn, which is especially important if you have kids. Leveling will also help with proper water drainage, so if you have any areas where you notice standing water after a heavy rain, you'll want to address these areas first. Leveling also will help prevent scalping from when you're mowing. If your lawn has high spots or low spots, your mower deck will inevitably dip in a low spot or the blades will catch a high spot, cutting the grass down to the dirt, which can cause the browning of your turf and even die off. For us cool season folks, these areas will need to be reseeded more times than not, which means we're going to be waiting until the fall. A level lawn will also make mowing much more enjoyable. If you have ever mowed a bumpy lawn, you know how much of a chore it can be and how you probably dread doing it. Fighting the mower on dips and bumps, rolling your ankle when using a walk behind mower, or the back pain from bouncing up and down on a riding mower. Bumpy lawns are extremely noticeable if you have a zero turn or a real mower, so leveling it out could be what brings back the peace that we often experience when mowing our yards. Now, what is top dressing and how is it different from leveling? Top dressing is the process of adding a quarter inch to a half inch of compost, topsoil, sand, or any combination of the three to the very top of your lawn. This is done after leveling and before seeding. Top dressing is generally used to add organic material into your existing soil structure. If your native soil is clay, you can top dress with compost, which will help break up the clay soil and can help with drainage issues. We want a top dress after aerating so we can work the top dressing material down into the holes we've created with the aerator. This way that material can begin incorporating itself with our native soil. What materials do we use to level or top dress our lawns? For us DIY folks, topsoil or a topsoil compost mix are the best materials we can use for leveling or top dressing. You'll see a lot of lawn care enthusiasts and golf courses using sand, but studies have shown that for homeowners, it's recommended to just top dress with topsoil and compost. Sand is great for drainage and naturally leveling, which makes it appealing for lawns, but sand won't retain water and nutrients the way other materials can. So every year you add sand to the top of your soil, you will reduce your soil's overall fertility. Another downside of using sand is that once you begin using strictly sand for top dressing and leveling, you have to continue using it. You can't go back and forth from topsoil to sand and back to topsoil because this will create what's known as layering. According to a study done by the LSU College of Agriculture, quote, soil layering affects the internal drainage properties of the root zone surface. Studies show soil water movement does not like a discontinuity and pauses or stops completely, end quote. The study goes on to say, quote, because the textural properties of this surface zone are dramatically different than the underlying root zone, turf grass roots naturally want to remain in a more favorable zone. Native soils have much more water and nutrient retention than the sand below, end quote. So if you have multiple layers of soil and sand, the roots of the grass plant are only going to stay in one layer of soil and not continue to push down through the sand layer below due to its lack of water and nutrients. Thus, the overall health and resilience of your turf will suffer dramatically. If you have clay soil, adding sand can create almost cement-like soil structure and the roots of the grass plant will struggle to push down. If you want to begin top dressing with sand, you want to spend the time and the years building up your soil base with other materials first before switching over, but know the risk before doing it as it can have a lot of adverse effects if not done right. So why would you need to level your lawn? Your lawn can become a bumpy mess in no time due to freezing and thawing cycles, settling, runoff, and many other things. 
tree removal, backyard get-togethers with high foot traffic, extremely heavy rainfalls, slopes, and even your mowing patterns can all affect how level your lawn is. This year, I did some work in my backyard, and I wanted to get it done before it was time to seed so I could level the area back out first. I ran another irrigation zone in my backyard, which gave me three additional pop-up sprinklers. I also ran a hose bib over to the outside of our shed for quick water access. While I was at it, I ran electric over to our vegetable garden and made an area between our two sheds that I'll be using for an outdoor slop sink in the future. After backfilling all of these trenches, I knew the soil would settle and I would need to level. I've also had multiple trees removed from our property over the last few years and have been filling in the holes from where the stumps were ground down. Another problem area we have is a drop off from where our driveway was extended down to the existing soil. Some spots of the new driveway were almost six inches higher than the grade of the lawn, so I've had to build these areas back up. Another reason you would need to level is if you have any areas of your grass die off throughout the season and then had an extremely heavy rainfall. With no turf to hold the soil in place, that soil can easily wash out. So how do we level and top dress a lawn? You first want to mow your grass lower than normal so you don't smother out the grass blades with your new material and cause any desirable turf to die off. Next, you'll want to aerate your lawn to expose the holes for your top dressing material to fall down into. The plugs that your aerator pull out can either be left behind, mowed, and broken up, bagged up, or raked up. I always personally leave my plugs behind so they can break up and add organic material back into the soil. Second, you will want to level out any problem areas you have identified in your yard. If these areas are very deep, you will want to fill them in and then roll or tamp the area and lightly water it to get the soil to settle. You may need to repeat this process depending on how big the area is and how airy and dry your topsoil is. A lawn roller is a very useful tool for this step. You can then start dumping your top dressing material around your yard and using rakes to spread it working it down into the grass canopy and aeration holes, creating a nice smooth surface. Some of the best tools I've used for top dressing and leveling are lawn leveling rakes, landscape rakes, and drags. And the best help of all is all of my buddies that came over and helped me this year. I couldn't have done any of this without y'all, so thank you very much. There's no denying that it was a long, hard day, but the work speaks for itself. Unfortunately now, Ida is coming through, so there will probably be some washout. So I will address those areas after the storms pass, fill in any areas that have washed away, and then I will get ready to overseed and also put down some lime to help raise the pH. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you learned the importance of leveling and top dressing and how it can benefit your yard. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Share this video out if you could. And thank you so much for watching.